As they say, charity begins at home and justice begins the next door. Today, we look at the faces behind the Christian Union at St. Paul's University, Nakuru Campus. This is Behind the Glare. My name is Stephen Njohe. St. Paul's University, being a Christian university, harbors students and staff across all denominations, nurturing their religious foundation. Organizations such as Christian Union are vibrant and active in building strong spiritual life for students and staff. You know, here we are from different denominations. We have the Catholic, the SDA, the, the BC, even the Muslims. And we feel good that uh, we, are being, we are being given that part uh, as in we grow more in Christ and uh, in knowing, actually, they nurture us. As much as you are from, uh, like for me, I, I, I'm from a, a Seventh-day Adventist. But that's, that doesn't make me not to, uh, not to be with others that now they worship on Sunday, I cannot uh, uh, be with them. And the fact is that you are not forced to. And uh, we don't have the Sunday services being done here. So we meet from Monday to Friday. We do the normal service, just praying, reading the Bible together, doing Bible study also. Yeah. So it has made me grow in one way or the other. According to former CU chairperson, the CU is one of the strongest bodies at St. Paul's University, giving students and staff space and time to worship even during the COVID-19 era. I became part of Chaplain and Scene in 2020, 2020 when I joined, uh, that's when we were nearly to go to the election, the Kakuja. But uh, we had done our elections as Christian Union to Nafanya Kando, and then we bring the candidate. So we fast tracked the online services. That's what we did when that, that is when, when Corona came. So we the, the school suspended physical classes. So to Kengia online. But you see, that time had to go so you go nile, you are a leader without portfolio. Yeah. When you leader without portfolio. When it took you. Who got to come share out about but uh, but anyway we were able to fast track to the online thing until we came back to twenty twenty one. And uh, twenty twenty one that's when we handed over the baton, mid twenty twenty one. Serving in the CU at campus level is challenging, but also a learning opportunity. In campus, members are from different age set, background, and hence, makes it tough for some and enjoyable for others. The experience has been amazing. Uh, first, serving with people who, you know, it's not like high school, where you are at the same level with everyone. At campus, some are older than you are, and so serving with them, it has been an honor. Uh, challenges are there. And um, yeah, you learn how to control grown up, grown ups, and also control young people who are coming after you. And also with time, time management, uh, especially during the COVID period. As we concluded our discussion, the three had a common stand that Christianity or religious purity is personalized and. Campus pleasures can swear away good deeds, but with the discipline and dedication, one can maintain their religious life intact. When I joined campus, for me it was like a continuation of my lifestyle, serving, going to church, and thank God St. Paul's is a Christian university. It gave me an opportunity to continue serving and knowing God more. So in the University of Years, when you come, it's either you make it or you waste your time. So it also depends on the kind of people you are working with, the kind of groups you have. You either choose the right way or the wrong way. But me, Usema, I'm say you live once. You you live once. Like Ukipita campus, you might never have another, you know, uh, time to get back to campus and with the same years and say, you know. So me, Usema, I'm say Ajiju. Just know yourself, know what you stand for, and never be fearful.
for Behind the Glare. My name is Steven Anjahi.